We have some descriptive words in the forecast that I don't get to read out loud very often. <laughs> patchy fog tonight. Patchy. And then tomorrow, patchy fog that gives way to sunny weather with increasing clouds as the day goes on. Our high tomorrow is 65, overnight low around 40, and uh, similar weather getting sunnier as the week goes on. Highs in the high 60s, low in the low 40s, and then gradually warming into the weekend, dipping into the 70s again. But the rain should be behind us. That was quite the storm last night. In any event, now to the main attraction. So pleased to be bringing back to Studio 2A. Gabrielle Petrangelo. She's got new music. We're going to actually hear a recorded track from her new album at the end, but first we'll be graced by her presence with some live music in Studio 2A.
keep rolling along, right? Okay. <clears throat> Pedal board, you gotta do stuff. Okay. step different right there <laughs> this is real life folks it's messy let's try that one more time say anything just play it <laughs> can i However say something you want to do it, yeah, say oh something. yeah oh cool all right cool you can say as much as you want <laughs> i will say something about this one yeah because um, i wrote it it's a love song for taos new mexico and um this is actually not off the, the album that's coming out but it's uh some of the songs that were are on the album were written in taos and taos is my muse and my mecca and and so this is like the feeling i get when i'm there the land is so pretty there 
You're tuned into Locals Only here on KXCI. My name is Matt, and I'm live in Studio 2A with Gabrielle Petrangelo. How are you doing tonight? Good. Nice to be here. I need to talk in the mic, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's warm in here. I have to take this off. Well, we've got all these fancy lights. And, uh, and because we have these lights, if people want to watch, head to our YouTube page or... Facebook page or any of those things, and you can watch this performance. <clears throat> um, so, uh, why don't you? Uh, I mean, I just introduced you, but introduce yourself and tour, introduce yourself, let us know what you both are doing tonight. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, my name is Gabrielle Petrangelo. I grew up in this town. I know you and everyone else in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I made an EP this last, um, I wrote them the, this last summer. I recorded them this fall. Tur played some bass on the EP. I recorded it at Waterworks with Jim Waters, the esteemed 
Tucson legend. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I'm just like releasing it this winter. Well, right on the winter solstice, really. So it's like, Perfect. it's really like, I feel really in the flow. Like, mm -hmm. it's just like, I got to do this. I'm doing it now. Here it comes. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're releasing it at Hotel Congress. I'm releasing it at Hotel Congress um, with Tura playing some bass and Julia Waters um, singing some backup vocals and playing some keys. But it'll be a solo show featuring the songs from the EP and some other stuff that I've written through the through the last couple of years. And we just added a second show because the first show at 6.30 is just about sold out and it's two weeks before. So we decided to add an 8.30 show. Oh, cool. Early bird. I'm like, Dave Slutz was like, what time do you want your show to be? And I was like, is 6.30 too early? <laughs> 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 I am so getting older. But anyway, um, <laughs> hey, the, the sun will be down because it's the winter solstice. It's the go. longest night of the year. So you can, like, it's nighttime, get your groove on, um, and then maybe come to the 8.30 show. That, that show is totally open. And I think those tickets are opening up tomorrow. Excellent. Yeah. So it's been a long time since you've uh, put out solo music, uh, recorded music, right? Yeah. So um, let's talk a little bit about the the journey to get here. Why why now? Mm. And and kind mm. of some of the inspiration that led you to this cycle of songs. Okay. Um, well, the last solo release was in 1999. Wow. Isn't that, that nuts? Wow, that's further. I didn't expect the number to be that far back. Yeah. It doesn't. Wow, that's crazy. Isn't that 1999, nuts? 1999, 20 years. Yeah, I've done a bunch of stuff sure, for people, yeah. but um, I haven't done a solo release in that long. Wow. And, um, and I was just like, I got to get this out in 2019 so I can make the 20 year, you know, <laughs> like cycle. Um, and anyway, I, I sort of left solo. I did, I've, I've been writing all these years, uh -huh. but oftentimes I'm writing for ensembles or ideas with other people. Mm hmm. And so this was the first time that I just got to dig into my own process again and just write my own stuff. And, um, yeah, I was like, honestly, I was, a I, I went through a really big transition in my life, really big growth opportunity experience. And I made art of it. It just sort of came out of me. It was really, um, I, it, it felt part of my therapy of like what I was going through was mm -hmm. like to express it through music. And I'm so proud of myself because, um, I really went all out and it feel, and I feel so much better having mm -hmm. done that Yeah, <laughs> and just like turned it into like a journey. And I had this great artist do the cover and, um, it really kind of captures like steps along a journey. Mm -hmm. I feel, I feel proud of it. So, so you yeah. mentioned, uh, the cover, does that mean, is there a physical release or is it uh, digital only how do you how are you oh, releasing yeah, the album the, okay well it's a physical release on the d uh, the winter solstice and then it'll be a digital release in the new year so perfect yeah, yeah. and uh yeah chris huang is the mural artist he he's a former tucson and he moved to colorado but he did a really beautiful picture um painting of me out kind of on the taos mesa but also tucson arizona because i wrote the songs in the high and the low desert cool so yeah, it's just really fun. Uh, what was your relationship <clears throat> with Taos before um, this round of inspiration? Is it a place you've had a relationship with for a long time, or is it yeah. newer in your life? Um, it's been it's been the last five years, quite honestly. It was like this itch I got like five years ago. I was like, must go to northern New Mexico, mm -hmm. and then um, I feel something there in Georgia O'Keeffe country and mm -hmm. this big sky and. The only other place I've ever felt that is like in the Sonoran Desert, mm. but um, it has it has this energy where like I feel my I literally feel my senses more, like I feel like my inner wolf woman is like <laughs> activated, and I'm like I hear things, I smell things, <laughs> I eat things, like it feels really healthy. Uh -huh. So I don't know, I just get really creative when I go up there. So I found myself every summer for the last five years like getting there for at least a month if I can mm. and just kind of wishing I could move there. But reality is I don't think I could do winter up there, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as you uh, started recording the songs that ultimately <clears throat> ended up on this EP, yeah. did you have a vision of 
what you want? Did you know if these are the songs that are going to be on and it's going to be an EP? Or did you just sort of start organically recording things and let it take shape as, as the process wore yeah, along? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was all super duper intuitive. So I didn't even think about the EP when I was writing them. Mm. But I found myself making these little home videos and releasing them publicly. Mm. And a lot of my friends knew I was going through some a, a really big healing process. And so people were following me and writing and responding. And, and I just decided, I'm just going to share. As the songs come out, I'm going to share them. Mm-hmm. And, and then it was when I got back to Tucson that I was like, I have seven songs. I'll make a seven song EP. Let's do it. Now's the time. <laughs> we got to make 20 year cycle. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't really an idea until I got back from my summer travels where I wrote the seven songs. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So um, why don't we uh, get back into some more music before we, we'll chat some more in a little bit. But before we do that, uh, if people want to keep track of upcoming shows, if they want to be able to find music online, what, what's the best way to keep track of all that yeah. on the interwebs? Yeah, so I, I, my name is actually quite common in southern Italy. It just means Stone Angel, <laughs> Pietra Angelo, Stone Angel. But go. I know it's hard. So, But you can go to GabriellePetrangelo.com. That's probably the best way. Or find oh. me on Instagram and Facebook. Follow me. Um, the Hotel Congress tickets are on. You can go to their website to get those for, Decem- for Saturday, December 21st. Excellent. Or my website. All right. We're going to hear a couple more from Gabrielle and... Tura here, live in Studio 2A. This is Locals Only. And Tura is Tura. Do you want to... Uh, he's an amazing bass player, and he's probably known to play with everybody, <laughs> including Hal Gelb, for many, many years. And he's just about the nicest fellow you could ask to play music with. So thanks for being here, Tura. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pedals down here. So we can do two or three before we talk again, whatever you're, okay. whatever feels right to you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right on. Thanks, Matt. Mm-hmm. All right. You would be? Oh, good call. I don't want to do the, the key wrong again. Now you know to look out for that. <laughs> this man's getting to know me. Okay. Um, this song is called He's Got a Broken Wing. It was written on the Dolores River in southern Colorado in July. loving you now Poor girl She doesn't know what she's in for Who's loving you now Who's holding your hand At night when you can't stand The sound of the demon Walking on your front door Sad 
that song that he'll sing I know it too well I know better now A bit of a cautionary tale <laughs> I always did like those <laughs> Not when they're real life though Okay, let's see So this one was I think. Okay. Oh, wait, I already did that. Okay. Silent sounds on the radio. Okay. There's a little girl lost. She found herself alone again. Can't escape the necessity. Of becoming her own best friend There's a little child inside You're not the only one Who took a spin on that drama wheel Until they were good and done But there's a way to fly space for all your fears and all the years Now she sees it clear as day She loved the same man with a different name Trying to fill those shoes she made That a daddy never will There's a little child inside She's got a tale to tell And when you hold her in your arms You'll finally break the spell There's a way to fly There's a little child inside She found herself alone again Can't escape the necessity Of becoming her own best friend Do you want to chat or do you want to do one more? It's up to you. Uh yeah, let's chat. Let's chat. I like chatting with you. <laughs> All right. So you're listening okay. to Gabrielle Petrangelo live in Studio 2A here on Locals Only in advance of her first solo album in 20 years. <laughs> Should released. I lie about that? <laughs> no, that's amazing. That is that is a remarkable thing and worth uh, celebrating. Um, oh, looking sweet. forward to having you back in 20 years for the next one. Heck yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but... Uh, in any event, it's going to be on the night of the solstice at Congress, appropriately enough. Two shows, an early show, 6.30, and then a second show at 8.30, uh, and there'll be physical CDs. What a novel concept. Oh, my God. What do you know? <laughs> well, you know, I think, I'm, I think my audience might be at least half over 40, <laughs> going on up to 70 there. Uh-huh. Grandma and Grandpa will be there. That's so um, cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, 
people love beautiful music and um i hope that it will be a night of beautiful music that like is very heart inspired mm -hmm. you know on the winter solstice so if you need something to like if you want to celebrate and come you know like be a part of the solstice there'll be that vibe there i'm gonna bring that yeah. vibe there there you go so so you mentioned at the top of the interview that you are from Tucson. When you say that, mm -hmm. do you mean like a true native born here or came here as a kid? Well, you know, I think that answer, there's it, there's two, two parts to that answer. One is, um, no, I was not born here, mm -hmm. but my grandfather and his father um, were on the director's board of Arizona Feeds. Oh, like, wow. Up until like the early 80s when it was sold from that the owner that they were a part affiliated yeah. with so i kind of feel like that kind of Your designates me. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't get free hats or anything i do have some of my grandpa's old like socks and like hats and arizona feed stuff which is cool that is cool. um albert lant junior and senior um but yeah like i grew up here and went to to to, to high school you know i went to like i think i came when i was in third fourth grade so I grew up with the monsoons and the uh -huh. weird snow that happens one, every four years and the school gets shut down. And, uh -huh. um, back when downtown was like a ghost land and I remember the airport lounge, this underground bar that was on Pennington. I mean, the deep downtown performance center. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing Hal Gelb and Calexico when they just got, they just started that little side project and they were all playing at um, Solar Culture and I was like, 19 sitting in the back like smoking cigarettes with with how and I felt the energy something was shifting <laughs> um, Yeah, so funny Tucson stuff like coyotes Havelina, uh -huh. I've had a lot of good dogs yeah. and I've spent a lot of time in the desert and yeah. I, would, I Consider myself a true de desert person. Yeah, I would say yeah. so so you know you you alluded before to the the high desert versus the low desert and, and the love you have for both environments. But yeah. I want to know, do you feel like you write different songs under the sky than, than in New Mexico? Did the songs come out of you differently or do you wow. get struck by different things? Yeah, because you know what? I just realized all the songs I wrote here were on Mount Lemmon. Hmm. <laughs> so I was at the same elevation. So... <laughs> Must have something to do with Must, the oxygen or there something. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I start like being like, I feel creative. Yeah, All you need of a sudden, to be a little what's loopy. happening? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I've written songs on this desert floor here. But um, yeah, there is a quality. There's something about it. These last few years, like I said, I've done most of my songwriting in the summer mm -hmm. because I teach. I have a, I have a um, private mu music studio and such wonderful students, and I feel so blessed. But I don't get a whole lot of time to write except mm. during my breaks. And mm -hmm. I have really long breaks, which is, which is good. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I write. Yeah. But. Um, so ha did the process of putting this uh, release together, d did it feel, you know, now that you're ready to bring it into the world, yeah. do you have a feeling of, okay, now this is behind me, on to the next one? Or is this something, mm. a, a project that you want to... Mm -hmm. live with and sort of be with for for a while beyond the the release mm, and, and yeah. have other opportunities to share these songs yeah no i definitely want to want to get these songs tend to these songs beyond just the release mm -hmm. so i have some um i keep coming up with all these weird sayings like coal irons in the coals or whatever <laughs> in the fire i have, what is going on i'm, at, I'm like everything i feel like a cowgirl or something um <laughs> Yeah, I want to honor these songs, and also I feel that I want to honor that I I am a solo songwriter, and it, it feels really good. It feels like coming home. That's why the title track on my way back home it means like coming home to to myself, mm. which I think we're all kind of on that journey, and we, mm. you know, kind of get maybe sidetracked a little bit, and then come home, and you know, it's this ebb and flow thing. And I feel like solo songwriting right now really feels like at home, mm. and uh, so. I want to honor that. Yeah. Keep keep working on it. Yep. And uh, although obviously the focus is on the, the big release show, yeah. you do have some other uh, gigs on the horizon as well. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Tura and I play together in a jazz trio yeah. um, that's so adorable with Ben DeGain on Vibes. And um, we play like probably once every other month. 
private parties, the coronet, Mercado. Um, and we're going to play at the coronet, the new coronet down on Cushing Street this Sunday. So if you want to hear some like old songs from the 40s that are really whimsical and sweet, mm. it's like vibes, stand-up bass, and four-string guitar, and it's kind of cute. Oh, cool. Yeah. And what? Well, uh, so will that be in the the main dining room space in there? Where where are they do music these days? Well, they do it on the patio when the weather's nice, mm-hmm. but um, I think it's going to be inside because it's chilly. Mm-hmm. And uh, I also want to mention that Beth Donis and I, who were in yeah. last winter, um, we have been working on a, the most beautiful EP, but um, it's kind of on hold for a bit because she just had a a, a baby. Oh. So. That, that project's just on, on a little hold, but we'll be getting back to that, so I'll keep you posted Terrific. on that. The songs are recorded, so we just have to kind of, like, set it up again. So, Excellent. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to hear a couple more songs live, and then we also have uh, something from the album in store as well. Yeah. Um, so maybe let's, let's do uh, another live song, and then and then we'll, we'll kind of tease the, um, the album song before we get into your last live one as well okay so, so we'll get to talk again yeah okay yeah, cool. one more after, time. after this song yeah okay all right <clears throat> um this song is actually the last song on the ep and uh this one shoot where did i write this one? Oh, this is the song that was written on sonoran ground <laughs> what are we three thousand feet <laughs> <laughs> um and it kind of like Um, it's like a a song of of forgiveness you ready? it's called Listen to the River at the time it was the dry river because it was late summer but Mm. the river still speaks even when it's dry and if you live in Tucson you know that there's like this magic thing that happens in the river bed another cowgirl moment (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm cracking myself up here here we go Silence is a killer in my heart Can't find the words to say Maybe it starts I'm sorry, maybe it ends with goodbye Maybe it's time that I told you that I I never let you go to uncover the truth 
You're listening to Gabrielle Petrangelo here in Studio 2A on Locals Only in advance of her new EP coming out later this month. Um, so we're going to hear one more live song, and mm-hmm. I'm going to sneak out after that to play uh, something off the album. But what's the last live one that we're going to hear? Yeah, this one's actually called Solstice Song, and I wrote it right around the solstice a few years ago. And, um, yeah, something, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be just a little bit heavy here. And Go just, for it. I'm be, being a true American <laughs> who's going through all kinds of psychological <laughs> <laughs> suffering. Um, <laughs> um, so it's one of our many terrible, you know, gun violence uh, um, situations happened. And... I, I taught school at the time. I was teaching music at Borton Elementary School. And it's always just, it, it had to do with a, a, a shooting at a school. Mm-hmm. And parents came and got their kids, and everyone was, like, emotional, and the teachers were shaken up. And um, I went home, and it's just one of those things where you're like, it, it, it felt really tender. It was the end of the year, you know, the sun was going down early, there's seasonal kind of depression feelings, and then this happened. Mm-hmm. And so... It was one of those times where I just like wrote a song in one sitting. I just sort of, it was like a prayer, I think, because I was like looking for light and how to like go to school the next day and mm-hmm. teach the kids. And um, and I know we're all like, you know, obviously, please vote. Please be informed. Um, we may need to have a revolution very soon. <laughs> Stay posted. <laughs> um, <laughs> Check her Facebook page for more <laughs> <Yeah>. details. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I have a big family, and, you know, everyone has, a, you know, people on both sides of the aisle. We got to figure out what's going on. I mean, but I'm not going to – my whole point of this is it's hard to find hope sometimes. Mm. And and I think, I think all the great people, Gandhi, Martin Luther King, you know, they always talk so much about keeping faith and mm. creating change through your own actions. And for me, that's music. And so mm-hmm. this was my, like – um, way of making peace or trying to shed some light in the world in yeah. a dark time. That was a long <laughs> explanation of the song. It's wonderful. But I would say that kind of sums up this EP too. This might be my solo songwriting style. There you go. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, um, we're going to hear one more live song and, and then uh, we'll wrap things up with, with one track off the EP. Yeah. And feel free, when I sneak out after you wrap this room up, yeah. Feel free to say a few words about why you uh, wanted to share the one uh, the one recorded track with everyone as well. Okay, we'll do. So I'll just yeah. say something at the end. And just take it on faith that I'm there to pick You'll it up. You'll know and, what to do. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're such a pro. Okay, yeah. thanks, Matt, for having us. Absolutely. And you have such a beautiful smile. Oh, well, and thank you. And it's always so welcoming. So thank you for all you do for local music and all the folks do here at KXCI. Thank you. Yeah. We're going for it. Let me just make sure. That delay, you know, I never know. You and B. <laughs> Dude, uh-huh. you're, you are like keeping me on, on, on my wits. Okay, for real this time, right? Solstice song. <clears throat> oh, my love, I'll pick you up and I'll set you right again.
It's for fear of what will be and what might have been. Just as the darkest night gives way to the light of the dawn, I love you still, I love you still, I love you still. Another year has come and gone, and I, I love you still. Just as the darkest winter night gives way to the dawn. I'll pick you up and I'll set you right again. Oh yeah, talk. <laughs> Dude, you you've done this. This isn't your first rodeo. Okay. <laughs> um Matt told me to talk. So Tucson, I love you, by the way. Thank you for raising me. Um and uh, so we'll see you at Hotel Congress on Saturday, twenty December 21st, we hope. 6.30 show. A couple seats left. If you want to come like me and play early, and it's your dream come true to go home before 8 p.m., um, please buy a ticket. Otherwise, please come to the 8.30 show, a more reasonable hour for you, you folks, um, perhaps. Um, and we'd love to have you and celebrate this beautiful healing music. Come celebrate the solstice. Um, it'll be a beautiful night of music. Um, and this last song that Matt's about to play is actually off the EP recorded at Waterworks, mastered by Jim Blackwood. Um, and actually, Tour is playing a little bit of bow on this one, too. But it's mostly just me and Jim and some overdubs in the studio. And it's called What the Darkness Knows, and it's um, the, the title track of the CD, and it was the first song that kind of led to this um, outpouring of, like, seven songs. And um, it's another cautionary tale, and it's also about um, uh, hope, too, like all the other songs. Okay, love you guys. Thanks for having me. Secrets in the shadows